someday, yeah. Eventually. Oh my god, I lost my mask for Holy sh! <laughs> Holy <laughs> Bitch should have seen that. Uh, yeah, but I don't think it was going to turn, huh? Can you sell it? Sell it. Uh, well, it didn't look like it was turning. No, it's not. Hey, it's Scott Kubo. So I've never driven this road before, and it was definitely a close call with autopilot. But fortunately, I took over just in time. You can see at the end, I clicked on the screen to save the dash cam footage so we can take a look at that later. Now, this was with uh, autopilot version 10, 2019.32.12.1. And you can see pretty clearly that that uh, lane converges into that concrete barrier. But when we zoom in, we can see that Autopod is displaying a continuous lane that seems to keep going straight. Now we've seen this problem before. Uh, this is a video from around March 2017 where a Model S with uh, Autopilot Hardware 1.0 crashed into a barrier. And um, you can see that when we rewind uh, the film a little bit here, it's a similar situation where a temporary uh, barrier was placed down, uh, but the old lane lines are still there, and it seems like the car followed the lanes into the barrier. But this problem was fixed, and there were videos that surfaced showing how Autopilot would move over uh, for a barrier despite the lane lines, and that's been my experience uh, for more than a year. So is this a regression that occurred with version 10? So let's freeze frame and we'll bring up the dash cam uh, footage overlay so we'll get in a, some sort of idea of what the car may be seeing. And you can see at this point, it's very obvious that the barrier is cutting off our lane. And you can see in the autopilot display though, there it's showing a continuous lane that maybe narrows in the distance. But when I looked at the footage, I also noticed that the setting sun is causing glare on the concrete barrier and maybe it looks like it could be misinterpreted as a lane line. And then Autopilot would perceive a lane that is much wider to the left than it really is in reality. So this may be a relatively rare case because of the sun glare, and Autopilot is erroneously placing more weight on the bright straight line, which is actually sun glare, uh, versus the more subtle dark line, which is the line where the concrete barrier meets the pavement. So that's my theory. Let me know what you think. And we know that Tesla does uh, track autopilot disengagements, so hopefully this situation was recorded and can help improve autopilot. But I do have the dash cam clips, so if anyone from Tesla is watching or you know someone who works at Tesla, contact me. I'm happy to share the videos. And here are the video clips from Tesla's built-in dash cam, which uh, shows both front as well as sides and rear views. So I love using autopilot and it really does take over a lot of the boring tasks of driving but um, it is by no means perfect yet and there are these occasional rare cases so uh, please stay attentive and use autopilot as it's intended to be used. Well thanks for coming along for a drive. Uh, that was a scary close call uh, but I always do pay attention especially when there's a potential for confusing uh, lane lines ahead. If you like this video, uh, give it a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified of uh, new videos coming out. And if you're researching to purchase a Tesla and you found this video helpful, click on the link in the description and find out how you can get free supercharging. Drive safe, everyone. Have a really great day, and see you in the next video.